District 10 is a diverse community, mainly composed of Dominican immigrants. It's a community that people are, are still very neighborly and they look out for one another. Besides all the obstacles, language, economic, racial, it is the most resilient community in New York City. So we are extremely proud of our heritage, proud of who we are, and proud of what we can accomplish moving forward. This council district would be Washington Heights, Inwood, about 12 miles of shoreline of the Hudson River and the Harlem River. It's got George Washington Bridge uh, on the west side. Community Board 12 and District 10 in particular are rich in parks. Fort Tryon Park and the Cloisters, Fort Washington Park and below that Riverside Park. We're a very hardworking community, lots of small businesses, very tight-knit. I think a lot of people in the community know each other because of the culture that we share. Income disparity is a huge issue. In this council district, in this community board, we have many extremely wealthy people, um, and we have many really poor people, folks who qualify for the kind of deeply affordable housing and everything in between. So we have to have housing that is deeply affordable for people who need it. We also have to have housing for middle class families here as opposed to you know, driving them out into the suburbs. Our businesses need to grow, need to survive first so that they can come out of this financial pandemic. So I think uh, moving forward, that's something that the city should start considering to teach people the financial education, the, the financial background, and the administrative know-how for us to be enticing enough to get financial and capital to grow. The homeless issue, if you just put all the, the shelters in just one part, then that reverberates and creates a side effect instead of just placing different shelters in different places that would balance it out. We need uh, the vision to take us from where we are and bring us into a better level. We could really benefit from investment into our schools. Um, our city has an issue with school segregation. That issue is evident in many schools in District 10. And a lot of students don't have internet in their home. They relied on the resources that their schools provided. Black people in America don't get the support from police that they should. The police budget could be diverted to mental health programs, training people that can safely approach people that are experiencing mental health crises. I think that we, we would need a person that sits on the council to be more proactive in taking the leadership instead of just being reactive to issues you could actually look at patterns and make decisions based on those patterns. Uh, I would like to see a city council member that listens to all voices and bring opportunities and resources to youth in our community. I want a city council member who is accessible, or who understands the issues in this community and who cares more about this community and the people who live in it than about themselves, who understands how government works and is prepared to do the job from the very beginning.